Hey YouTube, just Star and 5623 here. We're the first to wish you a happy new year. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make custom tokens from images off the internet. I put up a video just showing a teaser, but in case you haven't seen uh, the tokens I've made so far. There they are. Uh, first of all, what you need. Uh, I'm not sure how good a printer you actually need to do this, but I recently bought one. Uh, it's a Kodak ESP. I don't know if you can even see that. ESP 5250. Uh, it's just that new one at Walmart. It was like a hundred dollars. wasn't too bad. But uh, the other things you need. Are gonna need some photo paper. I'm not sure how good quality you need of that either. A template, a token, scissors, and I use a glue stick. You can use like the liquid glue if you want, but I think glue sticks better. Uh, it's pretty much all you need. So let's get started. Uh. Go ahead and find your image. I'm going to use this one. And as you can see, I have a roller up. And this is a template of the first token I made. I figured out the dimensions you need. Uh, one thing about selecting your image, make sure that you can cut off either the top or bottom of it because you're going to cut off something or you can cut off sides you're going to end up cutting off something because I I haven't been able to get the dimension exactly right maybe you guys know some program that I can use to get the dimension exactly right if you do let me know because I'd appreciate it but uh, until I find something like that I'm just going to do it my way see right here it won't resize exactly so I'm going to make it bigger, just to be safe. Bring it under here. I'd rather make it smaller. I think I'm going to, because I don't want to cut off too much of this one. Hopefully it won't completely screw up. But, uh, I'm going to drag, I'm going to cut it, move it down to the third page, so I have to print out that image again. And then I'm just going to write. I'll go up here, go back to that text. Make sure I know what it is. Andy. I really like the black and white, so I'm just going to change the text back to black. Move it down a little bit. I hate all these random lines on there. Woo! Just file print. I've already got the printer paper in there. In case you're wondering. Uh, pages. Third page. So I'm doing that. Okay. Alright. Just finished printing off the image. Uh, I know some of you might not have the old version of Microsoft Word, so I'm going to show you how to get the ruler up on the older version. Over here. Uh, you just go to the far right, click on view. Uh, it says ruler right here. Just click on ruler. And you see, that pops up. Alright, I'm going to give let a minute to dry. Uh, if you don't let it dry for a little bit, it really wants to like screw up and stuff. So I'm gonna give it a good five minutes to dry. That'll be. Yeah, guys, there's the image. Uh, I've let it dry for a little bit. Probably not the full five minutes, like I said. But so what you want to do is take your template. And you want to place it on the image. Uh, if it's a symmetrical image like this one, you want to make sure it's symmetrical. 
Uh, I forgot something else you're going to need. Uh, I use a Sharpie. It's probably not the best thing. I don't really like it because it's a little bit thick, even though this is one of the thinner tip ones. Uh, but, I mean, I manage. Uh, sometimes it leaves a little bit of the marker behind on the image, which I hate. But, oh well. So, uh, I don't really have much room on this desk. So, I'm going to go ahead and trace it, cut it out, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, <clears throat> I'm here. I cut it out. You see? Uh, this, I mean, it's pretty small. Uh, the bigger you make this, uh, the less this name is going to show, like this box right here. But, I mean, I think it's kind of cool if you let the box show a little bit. But if you don't, you don't have to. Uh, now, like I said, uh, actually I haven't said it yet. What you want to do is when, you, when you're when cutting it, just make sure if you have any doubts about the cutting line to make it bigger than you're supposed to because you don't want to make it too small. This one's pretty good. I'm probably just going to go ahead and glue it. Uh, I could cut, I could trim a little bit right here. But I'd probably screw it up because I'm not very good with a pair of scissors. So all you need is your glue stick. And then I'll take this too and glue that on there. Move it around a little bit. If you get the image on there. Uh, you want to take it down here. Make sure it's not in the glue. Like I said, I don't have very much room on here. It'd be a lot easier. Smooth it out a little bit. Make sure you don't use your fingertip because fingerprints get on the paper because it is photo paper. Alright. And you just take this. This one's small enough to where basically it just goes on the glue stick. So I'm just going to spin it around. Uh, these get fingerprints on them pretty bad. I mean, I guess I could use gloves or something, but I don't really think it's needed. Since this one is pretty small, I'm going to try to center it on there. Make it look a little bit better. And there you have it. That's how you make a custom token. Uh, I'll bring up the this one more time. To just show you where the dimensions are. In case you couldn't see them before. It's right there uh, if you can't tell very well it's just past the half mark between the one and a half and the two it's just past that uh, same over here on this side it's just past that it is a symmetrical image on the actual card and that image is symmetrical too so when you want to do the template you want to make sure it stays symmetrical because I mean it'd look pretty bad but uh I and mean, that's how I make custom tokens from images off the internet. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was instructional enough. Uh, if not, complain with your comments down below. I'll try to make a better one. I know this video wasn't really super high quality. I'm new at this YouTube stuff. So, uh, sorry about that. Uh, but, anyway, uh, if you guys find a way to perfect this better, uh, help me out. Send me a response video or something, or send me a message in my inbox. inbox. And uh, if I get a lot of better suggest suggestions, then I will make a new video and show you guys the perfected art. But uh, that's it for me right now. Drizz out.